listen to Elvis. There he is from 1970 because we're about to turn to a rare interview with Lisa Marie Presley. It's been 35 years since Elvis passed away and Lisa's paying tribute to her father with a new and very personal exhibit at Graceland. She gave our Cameron Matheson a private tour before the opening. He joins us now with a sneak peek. And Cam, first of all, an apology for botching your name up at the top of the hour. But also when you talked to Lisa Marie, she really opened up a bit about both her dad and her former husband, Michael Jackson. Yeah, she, she did, George. I got the chance to sit down with Lisa Marie and talk about everything, really, from the new exhibit called Elvis Through His Daughter's Eyes to how she is coping with the death of Michael Jackson. Elvis Presley. An American original from Tupelo, Mississippi. A hip-shaking, heartbreaking, history-making sensation. Dubbed the king of rock and roll. And the king's princess, baby Lisa Marie, born to Elvis and Priscilla in 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee. Today, Lisa Marie is a mother herself with three-year-old twins. You know, at some point, you're gonna have to sit down and tell these girls, so there was this guy named Elvis, right? I mean, how, how do you do that? Well, you know, we came into the exhibit last night, to be honest, and um, Finley pointed at the camera, and she said, that's my, um, that's my, and I went, that's your grandfather. <laughs> they have a little iPod in their room, and I put his music on, and they dance, and they, you know, and I explained this was your grandfather, and they kind of just happily say, that's my grandfather, so. She also has a daughter, Riley, an actress with not one, not two, but four movies coming out this year, and a son with a striking resemblance to Grandpa. The whole family unit spent Thanksgiving at Graceland. I love coming here. I just, I just feel like I can exhale when I'm here. I feel like I can deflate. Before the twins, the King of Rock's daughter briefly married the King of Pop, whose drug addiction and death mirrored Elvis's demise. You seem to be having a, a tough time around that. Has time helped heal those wounds? Mm, I think time helps, but you know, I think um, it's uh, the ongoing process. I think um, it's something you kind of start learning how to live with after a while. You have to. Lisa Marie's father died when she was nine, and her memories are a child's. Did he have a favorite song that he liked to sing to you? Um, I think what I distinctly remember was I can't help falling in love, he would sing. Wise men say. What I remember is him waking me up to do things, you know, like get in the golf cart and go take me, you know, for a ride in the middle of the night or in the wee hours of the morning or at some point when you probably shouldn't have been doing that, but it was always really special for me to get in the, you know, golf cart with him, be alone with him. Lisa Marie returned home to Graceland to shoot the cover for her third album, Storm and Grace, to be released in May. You've said in the past that you've done art out of anger. What was your inspiration for this album? Not anger anymore. Definitely over the anger. What's been the shift? Age, probably, maturing. And then having the babies um, softened me, or shedding a lot of barnacles in my life that were not good for me. And today, on her birthday, Lisa Marie unveils a raw and very personal exhibit, Elvis Through His Daughter's Eyes, revealing to the public for the very first time never-before-seen family mementos, her rocking chairs, and playthings. Do you remember these toys? I, mean, I remember this trike. You do? I do. I remember that well. Um, I remember... You used to rock it on the trike? I did. <laughs> I did. Before I discovered the golf cart. Yes, and then look out. <laughs> and then, yeah. And this scarf that she discovered in the archives with Diane Sawyer a few years ago with a special handwritten message. I love my Lisa, Daddy. <laughs> That's sweet. 1972. 1972. And an impressive reproduction of the King's Closet. Is this how you remembered your dad dressing? Of course, definitely. I mean, this is this is how I remember his closet. It's just the most amazing clothes ever. 
including the pin pad. <laughs> including the pin pad. She had one last treasure to add to the collection from deep inside the secret climate controlled tornado proof archives. Not this rockin' briefcase phone from the 60s. That may be the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Not this guitar from the movie Spin Out. When I was a little bitty boy. Elvis's guitar. No, it was this, his personal travel kit. So it had all of his everything in it, the picture of his father. This was the closest thing, you know, in the physical world that he had to him, so it was kind of the, the one thing that I felt connected to. The exhibit Elvis Through His Daughter's Eyes will be at Graceland starting today, Lisa Marie's birthday, for the next two years, and they're expecting millions of visitors, of course. In fact, Graceland is the second most visited home in America, second only to a place you know something <laughs> about, George. The White House. Boy, that's right. A lot more people are going to be going after they see that stuff. That was fantastic, Cam. And, and tell yeah. us, yeah, at least Marie's also been inspired to start a new family tradition. She, yeah, she did. She told me that they had Thanksgiving there this, this uh, past year at Graceland, and she's trying to work it into a family tradition to spend the holidays, bring family there every year, and, and have either Thanksgiving or Christmas there at Graceland. Can you imagine what that would be like? I actually cannot, but it sounds great. Cam, thanks very much. <laughs>